Uh, and it's on Sherman Hill SD40-2. I have a westbound stack train, lead unit Union Pacific 4735, approaching Spear now. As of 4.01pm and subject to signal indications, you can begin your pull. You'll be following the stack train via track 3 and expect some restricting signals and short delays. Dispatch out. Uh, let's have some rail driver action now. Said 401, didn't it? Yeah, Moggy would take a screenshot from Minecraft, I know. Rolling. Hey, MC Bone, how are you? So, the, just a reminder: the winner of the screenshot competitions each week gets a copy of Train Sim World when it comes out, and the uh, second and third place prizes get um, they, their screenshots will go into my my rotation of screenshots which I haven't still haven't done yet I need to get that sorted it'll be done for Wednesday oh, how good are they Moggy I think they're This will be the stack train we're going to be following, I guess. Is a cab light on on this? It is. Go over here, cab light. But we'll have the uh, we'll have the uh, gauge lights. Here's the back of the stack train. Sherman get new tracks? No, not as far as I'm aware. You could hear us, we just hear us talking about you. <laughs> ah, you weren't gone to the freezer, you were off taking sneaky screenshots of your spectrum. Sorry, I just reread what you said, Moggy. You were in the freezer. You were in the freezer. No wonder you're cold. See you in a bit, train boy. Well, computer to have as a kid, so you started off with a Sinclair Spectrum. No, sorry, an Atari 800. Yeah, that old. An Atari 800, then a Sinclair Spectrum, then another Sinclair Spectrum, then a Spectrum 128K, then an Amstrad PC 1640, then a Mesh, um, I nearly said Mesh tools, uh, a Mesh 386, then a Mesh 486, and then I can't remember. That That's basically from first computer to university. What computer to start programming on the Atari 800? This is when I was this big. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> looking at what was in the ma in the manuals because my dad had um, some um, some books with sort of little basic programs. So I would sit there banging away at these basic programs, not really knowing what I was doing, but just copying what was in the listing and thinking, "Wow!" when it worked, and maybe thinking other things when it didn't. Um, I mean, most of my, I guess most of my programming would have been on the Sinclair Spectrum. Started off with the basic, then moved on to assembly language. Uh, and then when I was at high school, um, I taught myself Pascal. Then I moved on to C, C++. From there, Java, while I was at British Telecom. C Sharp, while I was, was that? No, C Sharp would have been after British Telecom. Oh, we've got the yellow. You want me to watch the whole train as it goes by? You used RM Pascal. We used Turbo Pascal on RM Nimbus machines. Yeah, we did BBCs at college, and I learned 65CO2 assembly on that. Ah, the BBCs were okay. BBC Basic was uh, functional. Baked Bean Kid, do you remember the computer magazines in those days? You, they, they would print game code for various games. And you, oh yeah, I certainly did. I used to type most of them in. In fact, there were some where they do a little bit every week. Uh, and so it would take you like 13 weeks to type this thing in. And then at the end of it, it probably didn't work. <laughs> What programs did I end up making? Well, I, I played around with a number of things. Nothing in particular. I mean, on the Sinclair Spectrum, I wrote um, simple games. I wrote. I like. I've always liked databases, so I sort of write that kind of thing. Text adventure games, I quite like. Um, little tools and utilities. Just trying. I, generally, what I would do is I would sort of see an interesting sort of functional command or something, and then write something that would play with that command. Not necessarily writing anything actually useful, but then later on when I started running a bulletin board, um, I wrote a thing called File Streamer, which was a, a, a what? If you ever use bulletin boards, you could normally download a thing called an All Files listing, which was just a listing of all the files. Um, so I wrote File Stream, which was a way of speeding up the process of getting all files listings. You found the uh, test coach is good at. As for the BBC B, all you can say is elite, absolutely. Yeah, we had, um, when I was at uh, middle school, was it middle school? Middle school and high school, actually, we had uh, a research machine's Lynx 480Zs. Um, and then at college, yeah, college, we had the RM Nimbus. 
Did I miss a follower, DJ Speed? Wonderbar Beast, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Yeah, those research machine Nimbuses were interesting because they were 80186 processors. So sort of like one of the only PCs I'd ever heard of that went... Because most of the time they were 8086 and they went to 80286 for next generation. Whereas the Nimbuses were 80186, which is just weird. Uh, well, welcome, Wonder Bar Beast. I'm glad you're enjoying. Glad, good to see you with us. <coughs> and I'm glad you're enjoying the YouTube. Well, I hope you are. I'm assuming if you weren't, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> If you zip it up at some point, Arnold, and send it over, I'll have a play with it. What was the command to put your cab camera backwards? What? I don't know what you mean. Oh, do you mean to, like, step it back like that? That was set FOV. Dash set FOV, capital S, capital FOV. You do dash set of dash set FOV high uh, equals and then 80 or something like that. Welcome back, Chris. Yeah, I heard about you. I saw your email about your dodgy broadband. Capital S, couple of email, capital S. Cheers, Rano. Set for Matt's face equals zero. What you mean like this? <laughs> Uh, now I'm all uncomfortable on my chair. Hashtag blame Moggy. We're not gaming. Warning, you think a raid is coming. Oh, that sounds exciting. Trying to put a bit more space between me and the uh, the train in front, so we can run on yellows. He stopped waiting for me to get out of his way. Woody has run out of Ribena. Red alert, folks. I have not run out of Iron Brew, so it's a blue alert. DJSB! Time to go. Thanks very much, DJSB, and seriously, 
what an amazing uh, what an amazing train spotting scenario fantastic Gav Rutin, welcome Arnold's gone to make a coffee What wobbles when it flies? A jellycopter. That's really bad. That's really bad. You did enjoy the massive fails in the Taurus the other day. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know where you can put that a Vimto Globitz? Put a bit more speed on, get to the next signal, see how we're doing. What do I think of the VRC C30-7, um, Dr. Trenchcoat? I've actually not been able to get it moving yet, but I've only spent about five minutes looking at it. It's a Pro Loco, so it needs a bit more time, so I'm going to spend a bit more time on it before I stream it. But I love the detail they put into them. Because the, their other one was a U30, wasn't it? I'm not even going to say that one out loud, Ronick, that's so bad. The lavatory is great. <laughs> What's my own brew made from? It's not made, it's brewed! It's brewed from Goddars! You've got the C30 running in about a minute, excellent. Well done you. Tell me what I'm doing wrong then. <laughs> or are you just pressing the engine start button on the back wall? I'm trying to get it run properly. Talking donkey, you've ordered new internet. Gigabit down, 100 meg up. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. You think it's usually not good to drink metal? Unless it's Iron Brew. <laughs> uh, yes, it was, Ed. Vimto, fortified with toes, I guess. The toes of Vims. <laughs> Oh, that's alright, half the fun is figuring it out, GRE. On screen chat is all done through Streamlabs. Most of my overlays done through Streamlabs. Is
is green because <laughs> light was coming up a bit sharp. Yeah, if you just look at streamlabs.com, uh, die day, that's where my uh, all my overlays are done. Yeah, I like Lilt. Lilt is nice. Three Rogers, what build of Minecraft is a server capable of? It's currently running 1.10, I think. I mean, it can be upgraded however they want to, but the um, uh, John and the two Johns are, need to double check every plugin will work as they move on. Still got the high ball. Last bits for today. Thank you, Rono. Cheers, Wunderbar. Can look forward to seeing you again. Can I say duck it? No. <laughs> 157. How is the Sherman Hull scenario pack? This is the first time I've run the scenarios on it, but it's an Elfaba pack, so to be honest, you know what to expect from an Elfaba scenario now with you know, several hundred scenarios on Workshop, and it seems to live up to the standard. The faint beer glass on the right, Chris, that is um, for Twitch cheers. So when someone uses the Twitch cheers to sort of, it's like a donation thing, that drops some um, little gems into the jar. High bowling. Example cheers for the glass. Thank you, John. There you go.
Ronak, you can host with even without any viewers. I think it only highlights it actually on the stream if it's two or more or something like that. I don't know actually B. Harrison, I've only heard the expression high ball, I imagine a low ball would mean you've got a signal that, if it's a rally term, it would mean you've got a signal that's not on the top, so high ball means your signal's on the top, low ball I guess would mean it's one of the lower ones, so you're taking a diverge route rather than the main route. C. Rogers, will they do away with TS-2017 when CSX is out? No, not at all. Not at all, because CS does, when TS-2017 World CSX Heavy comes out, it'll have a grand total of one route. So, no, absolutely not. There'll still be lots of stuff coming out for TS-1. still green. High ball's a phrase to say you got a green signal back from the old arm signal days been the, because the green signal was high when you had a clear. Okay, thank you Lord BT50. I knew it was something along those lines. From what I uh, read up about it. Big bean kit? I can't really answer that. Um, there's been nothing announced about um, what's happening next on TS1 in terms of the annual iteration, but um, they have said that there will be regular content releases. And again, whether that's just third party or also internal, I don't know. Well, I do, but I can't say. <laughs> that surprises me, White Mead. I would have thought TS World, TSX Heavy will be right up your street. That's not a bad shout actually, Trenchcoat. I probably could actually whitelist Wikipedia because that's usually safe. How do you get the black thing at the top of the stream? In what way? It's just a black box. It's something I've made up. It's a composite of a bunch of different stuff in OBS. It's a rule to have the headlight on. The headlights were on a minute ago. Oh, I turned them off earlier on. It. On the top left bit up the, up there, yeah, that's just a. Um, it's a standard little text field, um, and then you can just it just inputs from a uh, from external content.
Mr. J84, have you seen Canadian Mountain Passes? Because that um, it covers the Kicking Horse Pass and the Rogers Pass. Absolutely gorgeous. We get a bad score when we get where we're going. I've got to do an average of 60 miles an hour to get on there on time. <coughs> Baked bean kid, honestly, I tried. They don't want to. <laughs> Back when I was head of third party, I tried to talk to Dutch uh, developers and they weren't interested, so it never happened. Hey, Silverbird Actual. Kumri, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Silverbird Actual, thank you for your sub. Very much appreciate your support. Let me just go and kick Discord. There's been two or three subs this tonight. I just want to make sure that everyone who wants access to Discord can do so. Woody TV, if you do a, talk to a train company, do you only do a deal for certain stock or do you have access to all their trains? It really depends um, what um, what the deal is. So when I did the, I did the deal with Canadian Pacific for their one, and it was specifically for the ES44 in the livery that was included in the pack and um, on the Canadian Pacific route, and that was it. Whereas other other companies are much more open. Um, and you know it's it covers everything that they've got uh, when is next farming uh, Silverbird that is on Wednesday assuming I stream on Wednesday which I should be MC Bone as you were for Dovetail do you get free game or do you just try some game do you mean train sim stuff? Um, I get um, uh, I get all the train sim stuff. Uh, other games? No, I don't get any other games. Well, very rarely. Probably no more so than anybody else, to be honest. Seriously, we still working mad late nights. Well, it's standard Tuesday, Thursday. I mean, last week was different because Wednesday um, we had to get a uh, submission into uh, testing. But um, um, now that's in, which sort of, I wouldn't say it's relaxing <laughs> in the slightest. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's still hard nights at the moment. But generally is... Uh, Yeah, it's uh, interesting times. Never mind.
still got green, which is good. Wow, we're going to be five minutes late. <laughs> Gasman Zero, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. G giving by your smiley couple of mail. Is it disqualified because it's not Steam content? <laughs> mm. Yes, thank you again, MC Bone, for the donation. Get some GGs for MC Bone if we didn't already. You need to make some more scenarios. Darn right you do, uh, C. Rogers. It's your 17th birthday tomorrow, train boy. Wow, happy birthday for tomorrow. Darn right you do cop plop them out. Uh, darn right you do C. Rogers, I meant. Oh, I don't know, just stuff is coming out of the mouth now. <laughs> now we're managing to claw time back, actually, just about. Still got five miles to go. Pineapple boy, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Amarillan, can you um, send me a link to where I can find them so that I don't have to go hunting? If you lose, you will. I don't know. If you lose, then you get to make a route and publish it on Steam. How's that sound, Cop Rock Mel? <laughs> Alright then, see it, Chris. See you later. Good. I don't know what they've done with Skype lately, but it's just awful. All right, Laramie Subdivision dispatched UP Extra 3200 West. Work train Legion at UP 3150 will be in the clear for you on Harriman House track. Dispatch out.
Uh, I've got no sign of any files from you on Skype, um, Ian. Best off finding another way to send them to me, I think. Should you order a half pound cheeseburger with chilli sauce from the local pub shop? Only if you send me one too. <laughs> Stop being awkward. Okay, they're downloading now, uh, um, Ian. Don't forget the competition, week three is uh, underway now. Get your entries in. Chance to win Trains in World. Week three is a hard one. Yeah, I'm trying to make it dif uh, different. Can't all be easy. They're going to get harder as well. <laughs> did I stream Fernbus? No, I don't have Fernbus. I did originally buy it when it came out and then refunded it. <laughs> How do I manage to stream so much? I'm slightly insane, basically. Herman. Not all the way. No, 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 not all the way. Just slightly. Just legally and clinically. That's all. Oh, I enjoy streaming. It's, it is it is basically my hobby. Ooh, I gained points! <laughs> I did not think I was going to get to gain points. Is the one they said would be in the hole, I think.
What have we got left in waypoints? Perkins and Dale, so 11 miles to go. Sit in the cab for a bit. Green light coming up again. Get the tree line in. Yeah, past 400,000 views um, just before Friday's stream, actually, which is awesome. We're almost at that half million irrelevant number. <laughs> Let me just pop these files... drive there's a shift 2 camera cap no it's got to be inside More highball action. What about a one camera that learns to look out? No, it needs to be inside the train. The spirit of the competition is that the, the, sh the shot is taken with a camera in an enclosed space, essentially. Now, if it's on a like a brake van where it's largely open, but it's for there's pillars in front of you and a cover over the top, that's 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 blow, uh, blow him fine. But the spirit of it is that you're inside a space, not just that you're in the one camera, because there are one cameras that are outside, but that doesn't count.
Uh, no, it isn't possible to merge Northeast Corridor with um, NY New York New Haven because they've got different. They were built with very different times. They weren't built to be merged. There's Perkins Main 3 East. Eight camera in a cattle wagon's okay. Yeah. Would it count if you put the camera inside the head of the man on the pump cart? Given its polygons are outward facing only, it would, you wouldn't see anything. It wouldn't look like you're inside anything. And gross. <laughs> Still highballing. Ooh, we gained lots of points. We're in bronze territory now, potentially. Stopping in 5.8 miles. Oh, was it? Sorry, did I mishear? Read the question? Yes, the New York, the New Jersey Transit, and the New York New Haven can. But Northeast Corridor and New York, Nor New York, New Haven can't. There's one of our guys, Danny, that did the joined routes. Hey there, RS Gaming. How are you, sir? Four point eight miles to go. Tracks leveled out. We're not quite on the grade we were on earlier on. Although it, looks, it does look like it's picking up again in a minute. How's DTG treating me? They are doing good as always. <coughs> Did I try Danny's merge route on Steam? I can't remember because I really only do them if there's a scenario to use them. So if someone writes a scenario then uh, I'll run it. But does DTG give me cake? Occasionally they give me cake, and it's not a lie. And it is good. Can you make suggestions for updates to DTG products? If so, where? Um, just raise a ticket, go to dovetailgames.kayako.com uh, and raise a request on their support system. That would be the recommended way of doing it. snaps and couplers let's do a portal reference <laughs> good night ninja joker
Will cake and tea be provided when you come down in March? Well, I don't know. Hopefully. I'm going to have a bottleneck of traffic at Hermosa Tunnels. Bring your head end to a stop at Dale Track 3 West Signal and await further instructions. Yeah, Amarillo took his own cookies, and they were rather splendid. You'll bring cake, and I'll make the tea. I can deal with that, Ryan. That sounds like a plan. As long as it's not a lie, then that's fine. <laughs> I was psychologically damaged after Portal. The idea that cake could be a lie was just too much for me to cope with. Use the grade to bring the speed down before we bring the brakes on. I don't want to know about that personal information, White Mead. <laughs> Portland Terminal's fine, Dr. Trenchcoat. As long as it's been on steam, that's fine. It doesn't have to still be available on sale. I should make that clear, really. <laughs> GG, wait, mate. Look at that scenery out here. Less than a mile to go. Yeah, Amarillo's biscuits, uh, well, Mrs. Amar's biscuits, let's be honest. Mrs. Amar's biscuits were uh, very, very good. Roll up to this red light and that'll be it.
got plenty of time, just gently roll up to the signal. Hopefully not roll through it. You went to Valeri, uh, Valerie Patisserie at the weekend. Oh, very good. Uh, yeah, she'll do a little bit of trucking. Not too long on Francois, but we should do a little bit of trucking. I miss my trucking. No! Got it. <laughs> well done. While we wait for traffic, clear through Hermosa, sit back and relax. Scenario complete. Your westbound journey will continue in part two. So that's one of the scenarios from the Sherman Hill scenario pack that's uh, recently released. Ooh, 717. I almost got a sliver for that abysmal performance. Right. Okay, folks, I'm going to have a quick toilet break, uh, and then I'm going to um, we'll get some trucking going for a little bit. All right, I'll do the theme tune and then I'll put it on holding uh, on the starting soon for Nebworth. See you in a minute. Don't go nowhere. Trains in life. Mats gonna 